Well, hello and welcome to the show. Glad you've joined us again this week. You know, while Haley and I were shooting the preview shows in the last couple of weeks, we started talking about what makes a sale special to us and some of the highlights. And it's been a good eight years, hasn't it? It's been great. And you know what? We decided to share some of those highlights with you and that's coming up right here on Discovering the Horseman Within. And one true horse, the perfect partner built to ride. One true horse, a bond that cannot be denied. You would search forever just to have the chance to take a ride on one true horse. I'm gonna take a ride on one true horse. Discovering the Horseman Within with Ken McNabb, presented by Weaver Leather. There's always been an undying loyalty between horse and horseman. It's a partnership built one day at a time through pure and honest dealing. Whether you ride for work, trail, or competition, Weaver Leather manufactures quality products built from only top-grade materials and always backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. Because your tack is the only thing that comes between you and your horse. Ride the brand with Weaver Leather. Don't miss your chance to ride with Ken McNabb. Ken brings his years of experience to both people and horses in clinics and events from coast to coast. Join Ken as he creates a unique environment where each horse is trained using gentle methods and the rider is coached to become their personal best. Call our office or visit KenMcNabb.com to reserve your space now. And be sure to join Ken on Facebook for updates, tips, and more. Discover the horseman within you with Ken McNabb. appreciate you guys being here. Uh, it's our privilege and pleasure to host you. We're going to have a great sale this afternoon. We've got a few things to talk about up here up front, uh, but I just wanted to say thank you, and then I'm going to give it over to Deemer and let him talk for a minute. Well, thank you all for being here. Susie and I are so proud to be associated with Dee Dee and Kim. We are so tickled each and every one of you are here. And because this is a, a private sale, we're going to start with a prayer. You know, partnerships are notoriously impossible. When I met the Deemer True family, I met people who were so, so like my, my wife and I and our family in their moral beliefs that it just seemed natural that we should work together. Well, it hurts Ken's reputation to be seen in my company, but it really enhances mine. <laughs> so I am proud to be in his company. And everybody has their strong suit. Everybody just picks up their job and runs with it. It's great. It's, it's truly the way a relationship, not a partnership, but the way a relationship would work. And that is every single individual is giving their all. You know, thinking of 10 years, that pack trip, I remember lessons we did up there, like teaching horses to lay down in the meadows and, and the different stuff that really was key elements in building the horse sale. Yeah, it really was. We had so much fun on that trip. I think the most memorable part for me was all the day rides we took out of camp. We saw some great wildlife. We got caught in a storm, and that's kind of what kicked off this whole sail idea. We got stuck in a big hailstorm, stuck in a cook tent together all afternoon, and we started talking about kind of our hopes and our dreams for the future, and this whole thing got started. I remember Deemer saying there in the, in the cook tent, anybody can have a good idea, but really the key to success is execution, execution, execution. And so we took that idea, uh, developed there uh, in a camp at 10,000 feet of elevation, brought it home and chewed on it really for almost two years, 18 to 20 months, we chewed on this idea of how to develop the Diamond McNabb Ranch Horse Sale. I want to introduce our auctioneer. He's called the sale for us each year uh, for three years in a row. And in addition, a few years ago, he was named the uh, Livestock Marketing Association World Champion Auctioneer. He's good at his trade. We're glad to have him back. Ty Thompson. 
Thank you very much. It's uh, sure a pleasure uh, uh, to be working back here with the uh, True family, the McNabb family. Uh, I think for those of you folks that haven't been to a horse sale, I'll tell you this, and those of you folks that have been to a horse sale will understand this. This is the most organized horse sale you'll ever attend. And uh, candidly, one of the things that was so important to us up front, and the reason we have the satisfaction guarantee that we have, uh, is because it was important to us to protect the customer. First of all, please understand, if in the very unlikely event you have to return a horse, I'm not going to be upset with you. It's called a good fit guarantee for a reason. You have 30 days to take this horse home and ride him and love him. And if he doesn't work for you, then you bring him back to us. We want them to fit you. It's not our goal to sell you one horse. It's our goal to sell you the one horse of a lifetime. You know, I, I'm going to embarrass Haley a little bit. She has no warning that I'm going to say this, but those of you who enjoy the Diamond McNabb Ranch Horse Sale and the website, uh, Haley and her sisters do all of that work and have since, how old were you when you created the website? 16, probably. 16 years old, sure she created that work. website for the Diamond McNabb Ranch Horse Sale and have run the whole thing. Kind of, um, kind of became a part of your life. Oh, absolutely. It became <laughs> a big part of her life. Yeah, it's like sort of <laughs> defining. It sure is. It has been, Haley, um, as we've, as we've progressed through the sale, and, and of course there's been so many life-changing stories for you, your sisters, your brothers, myself, my wife, our children. Um, but what about the other lives that we have seen affected through the course of this sale? That's been one of the neatest parts. I think an obvious area you can see that is in our internship program that you started um, and that we've been able to continue together. Right. We've had so many different young people come in and everybody goes out with an experience that's kind of a once in a lifetime for most people. And I feel like they've looked back, they've had awesome memories. A couple of them have gone on to start their own horse training businesses and they're becoming very successful. They do a really good job. You know, thinking of 10 years, uh, this past January, Hannah uh, getting married to Steven Gutenberger, I looked back and I thought, oh my word, 10 years. 10 years ago when she rode in the first clinic with me, she's an 11 year old girl. You know, I got a phone call the other night from Chad and Christiana Wanger, and they're so excited. Here they are, a newly married couple, married less than a year, married as a result of the intern program, running their own horse training business in Ohio. And they told me the other night, uh, she's quit her part-time job completely, and he's went from full-time to minimal part-time at his job because their barn is full of horses, they're training, they have a great career ahead of them. You know, um, in, in, in the whole concept of life-changing, it wasn't just our interns, though. The, the friendships that we've met, I think of John Dorton, a good friend of mine in Tennessee, who I simply would not know if it wasn't for the horse sale. Um, I think of Ricardo, Ricardo called me last year, the week before the sale. I'd never heard of, of Ricardo, didn't know him. He called me up, told me he was coming to buy horse number six, Frosty, wanted me to, to tell him about him. And I told him about him and uh, Ricardo showed up at the sale and, and he bought Frosty. And uh, then he went to the Cook Forest trail ride in Pennsylvania to join us a week later for a week long trail ride and brought his wife. and. And then he attended a couple of clinics through the year. And the coolest thing, the other day he called me up on the phone and just out of the blue, I was walking across the field checking calves on foot and he called me up and I, I answered the phone. He said, hey, I just, I have to tell you. He said, um, my wife and I have been married 20 years. And he said, you know, I guess after 20 years, you kind of maybe get complacent about things. And he said, a year ago, we bought Frosty from you. And then because of that, we came to some clinics and he said, you know what? It's like we're kids again. We go camping together. We went and bought a trailer so we can go camping together. We ride together. We have all of this stuff in common. He said, I just want to tell you thank you. I floated all the way back to the house. I was having so much fun. There's so many stories like that. I think that's great. I love hearing stories like that. And there have been so many over the years that stick with you and make, make what we do so worth doing. Everybody's out front. One of the most exciting parts of the sale 
is when the gavel falls for the last time, the sale is over. Now I can get down off the wagon and I can go visit with people while they're checking out. They're in line, they're either at the accounting office in line to pay or they're at the vet office or they're at the brand inspectors, brand inspectors table trying to get their paperwork all put together or maybe they're back at the checkout table where they lead their horse by and you know our guys check and make sure they've got the right hip number the right horse, the right paperwork, everything's good to go so that when you take that horse out to that trailer, you're not gonna have one problem between here and home. I've never been to a sale with so much honesty. Um, came in Friday, thinking about a dozen horses we were looking at, and by the time Friday night, we went back to the trailer with four horses that we were gonna buy. People telling us that, I don't think this one will work for what you want, and just had never been to a horse sale, so honest. So I said, I, I, that's how he can give this kind of a guarantee. Um, he is finding the perfect rider for the perfect horse. So. I'm looking forward to seeing you at my upcoming ranch horse sale. Remember, it's the first Saturday in June. You can contact me, my office, 307 645 3149 or the Diamond McNabb Ranch Horse Sale Office at 307-298-5030. Don't miss your chance to ride with Ken McNabb. Ken brings his years of experience to both people and horses in clinics and events from coast to coast. Join Ken as he creates a unique environment where each horse is trained using gentle methods and the rider is coached to become their personal best. Call our office or visit KenMcNabb.com to reserve your space now. And be sure to join Ken on Facebook for updates, tips, and more. Discover the horseman within you with Ken McNabb. One of the things that we talk about a lot is that, you know, a lot of times ranch horses end up ranch horses by accident. In other words, you give, you give a cowboy a horse and he ranches on it for five years and gosh, it's a ranch horse. We take a little different approach in that we spend the days that we're not out here, we spend in training teaching the horse how to handle this so that we're actually training the specialist for a job. And once he's been trained for this job out here, I feel like he's got a foundation that you can take him anywhere you want. He's, he's learned how to handle, he's learned how to handle his feet, he's been under pressure, he's, you know, uh, he's a veteran. He's an experienced soldier, an experienced uh, campaigner. And all of a sudden I feel like, you know, he, he comes back a lot better individual than maybe he would have been if he just lived in a box stall, 12 by 12 box stall all his life. Go on, fella. Go on, fella. One of the things that keeps us looking forward to the future is the breeding program. And that was something that we didn't start right away, but that was something that we very quickly realized Everyone knows how hard it is to find a good quality horse, and we thought if we can raise our own, we'll have known them every day of their lives. We can kind of hand pick what types of horses we want to be riding through raising them ourselves. So I think that's another great memory for me is flying down to Texas, you, myself, and my dad. My dad really, <laughs> my dad really got a hold of the breeding <laughs> program, but I tell you what, he has spent hundreds and hundreds of hours on the computer with his nose in books researching bloodlines, talking to breeders on the phone. We kind of narrowed down what we wanted our horses to be bred like, where we wanted to start from. And then once we decided to take it seriously, off we went, that really became a big part of what we do. I think one of the traits that we, that I have learned from your family and I've tried to put into my family uh, is instilling responsibility early. I will never forget sitting at the Cracker Barrel down there in Texas and your dad looking at you, we've just looked at a potential herd sire that is a super nice horse, but you know, not a uh, last minute acquisition by any stretch of the imagination. And I, I'll never forget him looking at you and you couldn't have been more than 15 years old. I remember him saying, well, Haley, are we buying him or not? I remember you guys looking at me and saying, all right, up to you. What do you think we should do? Yeah, yeah, it's your, it's your decision. And you know, Paladin has become a very serious part of the breeding program. It was a good decision, you did good. <laughs> well, I th thankfully I think I would have been overruled even if I'd said no, but <laughs> yeah, he's been, he's been a super horse to kind of cornerstone the program. Everything, all the benefits that you get through drawing those kind of older 
or at least those very successful bloodlines from all the programs that we've been able to bring our breeding horses in from, I think has really paid off for us. We're, we're getting colts that are well built, they have excellent cow sense, and they really have super dispositions. You know, prime examples of that, we're talking about sale highlights and, and we're talking a little bit about highlights for us, but, but some of the highlights in the sale this year are uh, Pallet and Gat, mm -hmm. uh, like Dolly and, and Carolina, mm -hmm. the barn names of those two fillies that are really nice riding horses. I, I mean, incredible mares that really are, are good enough to w retire from being ridden someday and, and move into the broodmare program. I completely agree. Those are kind of the highlights, the older horses that are under saddle. Um, but then also this year, we're incorporating some of the younger stock. We have a uh, yearling stud colt. We call him Champ towards the end of the sale. That's another paladin son. It's just been really fun to take these horses from scratch and work from the ground up with them. And it's they've really risen to the occasion and given us the quality of horse that we've been looking for all along. You know, I just did an interview uh, uh, for Horsemanship Radio about two weeks ago. And one of the things that they asked me, they said, we've heard this rumor that you guys actually have a highbrow cat son that was raised at over 7,000, born at over 7,000 feet of elevation and raised in the wild, but obviously domestically handled. Tell me about that. I don't know that this is fact, but I really believe we really do have probably the only highbrow cat son in the country that's actually lived his whole life like a horse. I mean, he, he was born in a pasture that's 7,000 feet of elevation, and he breeds mares now in that same pasture probably. And he's an incredible riding horse. And, and so that was for me as a horseman, when your dad sat down with me and said, this is what we want to do. I got so darn excited because that's what I want to see is horses that are bred, tra raised, trained to be successful from the get-go. I don't have to worry about it. When I climb on one of Prince's colts or one of Paladin's colts or Quest colts, I don't have to worry if they're going to trip and fall and go head over heel with me. I know those young horses have already seen rougher country than most people will ever see. Those horses have lived that environment. And so to me, that's been the proof in the pudding. As, as I'm able to watch horses like Chrome or Flame, horses that were raised in the program, Flame in this year's sale as a six-year-old horse, uh, one of the Heaven's Rooster Colts. When you look at that horse and you say, this horse has lived his whole life on this ranch and he has earned his living, he has been an amazing individual. To me, that's actually where I start seeing success in the program. I agree, it's so unique. In our part of the country, you see horses out on pasture all the time, but what you don't see very often is really high-powered performance bloodline type horses out on pasture. And it's been, it's been great to be able to have those horses in that environment. It brings so much more to the table by the time you start them. They already have the experience that most people don't ever get the chance to even give their horses. And that's something I'm really grateful for. Really where, where the breeding program comes full circle is on sale day. Oh boy, sale day is probably the biggest adrenaline rush I get all year. When the, <laughs> I think the most exciting words of my year are- well, We're gonna start on number one and we are ready to go. And the annual Diamond McNabb horse auction is underway with lot number the one. The gavel knocks, the bidding out starts, out the one, and then you know you're really off to the races. So for me, out behind the curtain, um, Probably the, the highlight is talking to people who have traveled so far to come to the sale. Seeing people who are familiar with the horses through the website, but now they're actually here to see them in person. They have questions, they have stories, they have comments. It's really a great time to get to meet new people. Now 62 and a half, 62 and a half, 62.50. You're out too, Gary, what do you say? 6,000. 62 and a half, last call, I'm gonna sell him. $6,250 on him now, two and a half. Sold them $6,000 on the phones. 79 going to Ohio. The other thing that you have to spend a lot of focus on, obviously, is making sure the sale runs. We really work as a team behind the curtain to make things come into the sale ring, clean, tidied up, ready to go in order. And um, that's really an experience you can't find anywhere other than a horse sale. So having your horses ready to go, having your people ready to go, making sure things are set to get through that gate and go successfully, 
that's really a fun experience. The emotion that my riders put into those horses, to, and I, I think about Trent Martin. There has never been a sale yet that Trent Martin hasn't been out back crying over some horse that he just sold because he's a cowboy, and those horses are a part of who he is. This year with his Phoenix horse, I, I don't even know if he'll be able to function. That emotion, it's important to me that my consigners, my riders, all actually like their horses that much. Right, you know the good ones are the ones that you never want to see go, and that's why we cry over so many of our horses, is we're happy to see them go onto a new home, but we really wish we could keep them for ourselves. <laughs> For me personally, um, I think one of the most important parts of the day, regardless of what the audience or the customers think, uh, one of the most important parts of the day for me is when Susie opens the sale in prayer. Because I want people to understand that while we're selling horses, we are intentionally creating an atmosphere that is safe for the customer. Now you know our hearts, and you know that we've gathered today to find, as the song says, that one true horse a perfect partner. Well, we've worked hard to prepare that. Would you please help us match the appropriate rider with the appropriate horse, that it may be a blessing for both? But for this moment, everybody's quiet. Everybody is thinking of the loyalty and all the patriotism and really the gratitude that we feel for being able to live in the United States of America, being able to live one nation under God. That's a moment every year that I hold until the next year is really a special, special part of the event. It never transpires without choking me up. It never transpires oh, me without leaving me hard pressed emotionally. We are a very, very blessed people. And uh, to take that moment to honor the men and women uh, who have given their lives for us to have that right and to thank God for it is truly an amazing moment. It's a privilege. There's no other way to describe it. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the I'm looking forward to seeing you at my upcoming ranch or sale. Remember, it's the first Saturday in June. You can contact me, my office, 307-645-3149, or the Diamond McNabb Ranch or Sale Office at 307-298-5030. Discovering the Horseman Within with Ken McNabb, presented by Weaver Leather. As long as I can remember, I've known the name Weaver Leather. Weaver Leather is synonymous with quality, it's synonymous with service, it's synonymous with a product that will be usable no matter where you want to use it. I'm excited about our partnership with Weaver. I'm excited about working with a company that operates using the same basic godly principles that we use. I'm excited about offering a product to my customers and knowing for a fact the customer service that stands behind that product will satisfy you. You know what my favorite thing about Weaver is? It's a one-stop shop. I get everything there. My grooming supplies come from Weaver. My saddle pads come from Weaver. My bridles come from Weaver. Everything I use except my saddles comes from Weaver. And most of it is made right here on American soil. I've toured the factory, it's amazing. I've met the people that work there, they all smile. It's an amazing opportunity. You should, if ever you have the opportunity to take a Weaver tour, I would encourage you to take one. You will walk away from it knowing you have been someplace different. You will walk away from it knowing you have met people who are not the same as you might have expected. They are friendly, they are happy, they are excited to be there. It is not a dull workplace. It's a ton of fun. I want to sincerely thank Weaver Leather Company and all of the folks that work at Weaver for keeping the Ken McNabb television show alive and sponsoring it and keeping it on the air. We have so much fun doing what we do and we can only do it because of Weaver Leather.
You know, for me, probably the greatest highlight of the last 10 years of putting together these eight sales has been the joy of having my family and myself work with all of your extended family, your aunts, your uncles, cousins, your dad and mom, your grandparents. You know, developing a family legacy doesn't just happen overnight, does it? It sure doesn't, but it's been a blast to put together and very much likewise that's been a highlight for us too, is building a legacy with your family. We can't wait for the next 20 years of bringing you the Diamond McNabb Ranch Horse Sale. We're looking forward to it. Can't wait to see you at the sale. And until next time, may God bless the trails you ride. One true horse, the perfect partner built to ride. One true horse, a bond that cannot be denied. You would search forever just to have the chance. Take a ride on one true horse Gonna take a ride on one true horse